Each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Pompano Beach Air Park from the flight deck. Pompano Beach Air Park is a small to medium-sized general and corporate aviation airport. It is located in the city of Pompano Beach along Florida's east coast. The Fort Lauderdale Executive Foxtrot X-Ray Echo Airport is just four and a half miles southwest, and the Boca Raton Bravo Charlie Tango Airport is eight miles north. It has irregularly shaped class delta airspace due to its proximity to Fort Lauderdale and Boca Raton. There are three runways, six and two four, one zero and two eight, and one five and three three, that all intersect. The complex taxiway system provides access to all runways and to the facilities, services, and parking ramps located at the south end of the airport. During pre-flight planning, pilots should note the proximity of the approach ends of runways 6 and 10 and runways 28 and 33. These runway ends have been confused and pilots have attempted to land on the wrong runway. One mitigation strategy would be to compare aircraft heading on final to the runway on which cleared to land. They should match. As stated earlier, this is primarily a business and general aviation airport. There is also a robust helicopter community ranging from primary flight training up through law enforcement and firefighting flights. However, the vast majority of the traffic at Pompano Beach is generated by the numerous flight schools found on the airport. The rest of the traffic is made up of some based but mostly itinerant aircraft, including some jets. Hotspot number one is found at the intersection of taxiways Lima, Kilo, and Mike. Aircraft taxiing for departure from runway six via Kilo Mike or via Lima Mike have missed the turn on Mike and taxied onto runway six and two four without authorization. Complete understanding of your taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions before you taxi and continuous scanning outside the aircraft for pavement markings and above ground signage while moving will go a long way in preventing this sort of error. Hotspot number two is located at the other end of taxiways Kilo and Lima and includes taxiway Golf. It is another potentially confusing intersection where pilots have been cleared to take off on either runway 28 or runway 33 and then proceeded out onto the other of the two runways and attempted to depart. This is another example of a situation where comparing aircraft heading with runway cleared prior to takeoff roll and ensuring they match will help avoid a wrong surface departure. There are a few other areas not listed as hotspots of which the first time visitor to Pompano Beach needs to be aware. The first issue occurs predominantly with aircraft landing runway 15 and turning off at runway 624 without ATC authorization. Remember, you must have a clearance to operate on any runway, active or not. When ready to depart Pompano Beach from any of the parking areas, please note that there are spot markings located on the primary taxi lanes just prior to entering the movement area. Pilots are requested to call ground when they are number one at the spot and state the spot number. Being aware of the hot spots and other configuration issues at Pompano Beach will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Pompano Beach Air Park. It's always better to know before you go.